Hello friends and welcome to a new video. So in this video, we are counting the total number of handshakes at a party. Okay, so suppose there are n people at a party and every person makes handshake with every other person exactly once. So what is the total number of handshakes that has happened? And we will discuss two ways to solve this problem. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so there are n persons at the party and we know that every person makes handshake with every other persons, right? So every person makes handshake with exactly n minus one persons, right? And there are n persons. So one can think that the total number of handshakes occurred is n into n minus one, right? But it is not the case. The total number of handshakes is not n into n minus one. Why so? Because when we count the total number of handshakes in that manner, we can see that every handshake is counted twice. For example, a handshake between a person I and a person J is one handshake, right? And we counted this handshake twice in our method because we counted this handshake when we counted the number of handshakes for the person I and also we counted this handshake when we counted the number of handshakes for the person J, right? That's why every handshake is counted twice in this manner. So when we counted the number of handshakes as n into n minus 1, it is actually twice the original number of handshakes. That means 2 into number of handshakes is n into n minus 1. And the number of handshakes is n into n minus 1 by 2. Now we will see a second way to count the number of handshakes. Let's visualize n persons standing in a row. Okay, and the first person will go to every other person and makes the handshakes. Okay, so n minus 1 handshakes we have to count on the behalf of person 1's handshake. Right, okay. Now, next person 2's turn. Person 2 will not make handshake with person 1 again because that handshake has already been done. Right. Now person 2 will make handshake with person 3, person 4 and till person n. So person 2 on behalf of person 2's handshakes we will count n minus 2 handshakes because the handshake between person 1 and person 2 were already counted on the behalf of person 1's handshakes. Right? Now next is the turn for the person 3. Person 3 will not make handshake with person 2 or person 1 because the handshake between person 2 and person 3 has already happened and the handshake between person 3 and person 1 was also already happened. So person 3 will only make handshake with person 4, person 5 and so on till person n. So n minus 3 handshakes will be counted on behalf of person 3's handshakes and so on. Similarly on behalf of person 4 handshake we will have n minus 4 handshakes and so on. So adding the total number of handshakes in this way and not counting any handshake twice, we have the total number of handshakes as n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 plus and so on plus 1, which is the sum of first n minus 1 natural numbers, right? Which is going to be n minus 1 into n minus 1 plus 1 divided by 2, which is n minus 1 into n divided by 2. And that's how we got the total number of handshakes between n persons where every person makes handshake with every other person exactly once as n into n minus 1 divided by 2. Thank you and hope to see you in the next video.